Okay, so I tried recording this on my webcam, but I recorded the entire thing and then realized that the sound didn't work, and then I realized that my sound on my webcam has like never worked, so that was kind of a problem. So, hi. Uh, for the past <laughs> two hours, um, oh yeah, it's on my camera now, like not my webcam, but yeah, for the past two hours I have been studying, studying, for my anthropology term test, which is next Thursday, and um, I've been studying one thing. And that is the Australopithecines, the first real hominin. Um, and Australopithecus means southern ape man, in what I assume to be Latin, I think. Um, yeah, Latin, sure. Um, but yeah, so I wrote a song about it so I can remember them all. Um, and there are one, two, three, four, five, six of them, I think. And um, so it's going to be a long song, but at least I'm not going to fail my term test. Which is gonna be great. So, okay. One more time. Four point two to three point nine million years ago, somewhere in Kenya that I can't pronounce. Found a thing that's ape-like in its parallel to throw, but human-like in its post-cranial morphology. Oh, Australopithecus and amensis, how I wanna be friends, but you're too primitive for me. Australopithecus and amensis, you're just too darn ape-like in your cranial morphology. They have been bipedal. Let's walk on to the next one now. Four point two to three point oh million years ago, Ethiopia and Tanzania too. Many ape-like and hominin-like specimens were found. Were they really just one species, or could they be two? Oh, Australopithecus afarensis, how I wanna be friends, but you really need to choose. Australopithecus afarensis, are you just a sexually dimorphic species, or are you two? Make up your darn mind. Well, I move on to the next one now. Three point oh to two point three million years ago, found in various sites across South Africa. While our brain size now. Brain size now is 1,400 cubic centimeters. These guys got by with only 458. Australopithecus africanus. No offense to you and your genus, but you must have been pretty dumb. Australopithecus africanus. Your only redeeming feature is South African accents can be pretty hot. Bring your sexy accent with you when we move on to the next one now. Two point seven to two point three million years ago, in the West Turkana, Kenya, they were found. Large faces, large skull crests, and enormous teeth. Remarkably primitive hominin by now. Australopithecus Ethiopicus. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing your name right. Australopithecus Ethiopicus. Why didn't you bother developing like everybody else did? You're too lazy to evolve, so I'm moving on to the next one now. Two 
1.2 to 1.2 million years ago in Moldavai, Tanzania. People found some hyper-robust hominins that were contemporaneous with the genus Homo. Oh, Australopithecus, boy's eye, go find someone your own size like Aethiopicus, who your morphology is similar to. Aethiopithecus, boy's eye, you're just not that important, so I'm gonna have to say bye-bye. Really know much about boys' eyes, so let's quickly move to the next one now. Somewhere in South Africa, one or two million years ago, another robust form was dug up. Their small anterior teeth and large posterior teeth were covered in a thick enamel. Oh, Australopithecus robustus. Oh, you're nothing like us, but you must have had some really strong teeth. Australopithecus robustus. I don't want to make a fuss, but I'm afraid you might eat me. Your teeth are kind of scary. Now I'll run away, but I'll run right to the term test, which now I won't fail. Yay! Yeah, my computer keeps like going black if I leave it sitting for two minutes or something, so. I should change that. That's kind of not working for me. But yeah, brace yourself for another song on the Homo genus. It's going to be good times. That's all. Uh, off.